quote, trying to elevate the conversation, end quote. That's what the White House claims President Donald Trump was doing when he tweeted out anti-Muslim videos from a British far-right group. But as the Night Team's Bill Barajas explains, one local Muslim group not buying the White House's explanation. Outrage and criticism all with the push of a button. Just two days ago, President Donald Trump retweeting three anti-Muslim videos, sparking questions and concerns around the world. Which president would have so much time that you wake up early in the morning, instead of getting your eyes on the world, what's going on and stuff like that, or on your own country, you are tweeting, inciting hatred. Sarwat Hussan, a Muslim American with the Council on American Islamic Relations, San Antonio chapter, fears the president's retweets could put Muslim Americans in danger. They have already created the atmosphere of hate, fear, and suspicion against the whole community. It's of 8 million people in the United States. The tweets also causing outrage overseas. UK Prime Minister Theresa May saying the president was wrong to share anti-Muslim videos. Britain First is a hateful organization. The White House is backing the president, though. I think what he's done is elevate the conversation to talk about a real issue and a real threat. That's extreme violence and extreme terrorism, something that we know to be very real. The president's retweets and the White House's stance prompting Hussan to ask all Americans to stand together. Speak up. Stand up. Any community that is marginalized, be with them. Bill Barajas, KSAT 12 News.